During the next half hour, we will be visiting Johannesburg, South Africa, Norfolk, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and then we'll take a flight to London on the EOST airline. Johannesburg, South Africa has got a very nice flair to it. There's young, there's old, it's a very cosmopolitan, arty town. There's lots of good restaurants, good nightlife, good entertainment, lots to buy, lots to shop, lots of things to do. Um, young people in this, um, in this town have all opportunities. I mean, you can play golf, you go water skiing, uh, they play basketball, uh, all outdoor sports one can think of uh, are literally uh, possible to do in South Africa. To put it in a nutshell, Johannesburg, South Africa, particularly Melville where we're at the sunny morning in South Africa, is literally paradise on earth. Beautiful weather, good food, lovely people, handsome men. The people in South Africa are really passionate about soccer. That is why we've got the 2010 World Cup soccer bid. We've got fantastic stadiums, we've got the right facilities, and we've got very skillful players. Uh, they are really great teams, very competitive. You've got to see the stadiums over a weekend. It is packed to capacity with people who are cheering for their favorite teams. Uh, I'm doing a mural for the store that changed the name to Duku because it was African Renaissance before. And Duku means um, African trade store in Kenya. So we're basically trying to get all the symbols that are important for like the African culture, the, the products that have come out of South Africa, like lion matches and joker tea and then all the symbols and animals and beadwork and anything like rich that's come out of the country that we're putting all over the walls to show people it's like a sense of culture. And the great thing about doing a mural is that it doesn't get given to just one person. You get to share it with everybody. Like I've had 1.5 street kids come and sit with me and say, well, how do you do this? How do you know what an African hat looks like? How do you know what the chickens look like? You know, and, and they have come past at night and had the same kids sitting here without me and being here and having a look and that, that makes you feel good, you know, it makes you feel like you're sharing it, you're not just doing it for the, you know, for the financial gain. Uh, I'm in a partnership with another artist and we do, we do canvases and, and sculptures and interiors and exteriors, but murals are probably the most rewarding because you get so many people's lives that have changed just for a second by walking past. Like it can make someone's day, they can suddenly feel like, ah oh, yes, that's where my granny lived, that's what the one kid came and said, that, those are the huts that my granny lived in. It is a, it's like a 24-7 painting because it's, it's seen at any time, anyone could be here in the street at night or in the day or at any time and, it, and, it's, and it's totally, it's there, it's accessible, it's shared and anybody that commissions a mural knows that it's for everyone, they don't, it's not being selfish and I think that's a lot of the African culture is that everybody living in South Africa and the new South Africa needs to learn how to share. Everything we do, we have to learn how to share it because it's been so closed in the past. The chameleon is a symbol of, of change in South Africa because it changes colour for any environment that it's in. It can, it can adapt and it, and it is also a symbol of life and death for the, for the Zulu people. But it's a it's a beautiful um, image to put on our pillars because it's outside the doorway. Well, Bill is the owner of the shop. He taught English in Mexico, and developed such a passion that he learned Spanish and brought a little bit of Mexico back to Marvel with him. So um, we're having a wonderful time. It's wonderful to be in the shop because the wonderful colour and the vibrancy. It's just wonderful, and then the, the vibrant streets. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a mosaic, not made in Mexico. <laughs> That'll have an influence. It, but it, it does have a, a Mexican influence. I'm using Aram lilies here because they have such a passion for Aram lilies. And talk about my talent in the evening when everyone's out with the jazz clubs, with the restaurants, and different kinds of food you can have here. Yeah, you can have all kinds of food. You've got the Thai food across the road, you've got a wonderful restaurant there, you've got Greek restaurant over there, there's a Portuguese one up there, <laughs> sushi bar next to us. And what about the jazz clubs? The jazz clubs, jazz comes and goes. I wish we could have more of it. Comes and goes, sometimes there's wonderful jazz, other times there's something else.
This is the Westcliff Hotel in Joburg, where you can relax and rest your head on lush pillows or visit a spa. My name is Mark Holden. I'm the general manager for the West Club Hotel here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, the hotel behind me, um, and it is part of the Orient Express Hotels collection of um, hotels, trains, and cruises uh, that we have around the world. This hotel is most unusual in that it originally started life as townhomes, not as a hotel, uh, set on the top of the cliff. Ten years ago we acquired the hotel and converted it into a boutique 120 room hotel that cascades over the side of the cliff uh, in Johannesburg's most exclusive suburb of Westcliff, overlooking the zoological gardens below and this green canopy of trees uh, looking uh, towards the northern suburbs and the city behind me. People often ask me what makes the Westcliff special. I mean, not only is it a very unique building uh, that it's set up like a Tuscan village and cascades over the side of the hill, I think what makes the Westcliff really uh, special and different is that it's more like a resort in the middle of a city. Uh, we have wonderful facilities of tennis courts, two heated pools, two plunge pools, a spa, a gym, uh, mountain bikes. Uh, so you can really make this an ideal base from which to go out and explore uh, the city and the surrounds. Uh, in addition to which we have fabulously appointed rooms uh, and most if not all the rooms have balconies and terraces which you can enjoy the outdoor sunshine it's, and it's a quality that I uh, often miss in hotels when I travel in Europe and North America. I'm rounding up my experience of three different countries. We have been South Africa, where I'm standing at the West Cliff, which is one of my favorite hotels in the world. It overlooks the jacaranda trees and they blossom in October. And then we went off to Victoria Falls in Zambia and the Zambezi River, which was an incredible experience. And then, of course, going through nature, through the great rivers of Zambia. And of course, you cannot resist Mauritius. It's one of the places I've always wanted to go since 1967 because Marissa Berenson wore some of my fashions in Vogue and it was just the most incredible experience. Just going back and looking at all these sugarcane fields and these ladies dressed so elegantly, draped in these beautiful saris. We have the zoological gardens uh, below um, and on a clear day, you might be lucky to see an elephant from your balcony. Uh, and at about one o'clock in the mor morning, it's not uncommon to hear the roar of lions. Looking into the suburbs uh, in front of us uh, below is the zoological gardens, and on the, the crest of the hill, literally five minutes away, is the commercial district of uh, Rosebank, and a little bit further beyond, behind that is Santon. Uh, Rosebank is well known for its African rooftop market, that happens on Sundays, but also the African market that's available there every day and a great place to be able to pick up some real bargains and souvenirs. Uh, Santon is probably best known as being um, the Mecca uh, shopping capital of uh, Johannesburg. Behind me you'll see the uh, spire of the Hillbrow Tower, a communications tower, which is probably the iconic uh, building that defines Johannesburg's skyline. That is on the edge of the City Bowl and the downtown central business district of Johannesburg. And just behind uh, the CBD, uh, about uh, 20 minutes from the hotel, is Soweto, which is an acronym for Southwest Township. Uh, originally founded by the, the mining companies to provide uh, accommodation for people working in the mines. Soweto has grown from its humble be beginnings into a full-blown city of its own uh, with a population of approximately three million people. It's a place where uh, most visit new visitors to South Africa like to go and explore and to try and contextualize uh, what had happened in uh, South Africa during the apartheid era. Uh, to up to the modern day uh, and the new miracle uh, democracy that we find in uh, South Africa. 